guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by the title, I am doing my everyday glam routine. Um, so if you don't know, I work at Ulta right now, and this is the makeup that I do all the time. It's kind of just like a staple, like staple glam for me now. On my Instagram story yesterday, I said, would anybody be interested in seeing my everyday makeup? Look for a video and Let's see how many people. 91% of people said yeah. Three said no. Rude. Rude. Anyway, I'm not hurt about that at all. It's fine. But yeah, so 91% said yeah. So we that's what we're doing. Um, I'm doing a photo shoot later with one of my really good friends, Allison, also. So I needed to do my makeup anyway, and I figured I was probably gonna do this anyway. So why not? Okay, so for primer recently, I've been like, I don't know, I haven't been really priming my skin as much as I used to. Uh, my skin is clean and moisturized right now. This hair. Primer. I'm gonna start with a little bit of Mac Strobe Cream. I like this because of the foundation that I'm gonna use. Um, it kind of peeks through it, like mixes together, and then kind of makes it a little bit more dewy and luminous, even though it is a more full coverage matte foundation. And then I like to squirt a little bit of Fix Plus also. So for foundation. I have been loving this Makeup Revolution foundation recently. This just is a really nice drugstore foundation. Concealer, we're gonna go in with the Born This Way Full Coverage Multi Use Sculpting Concealer. I love this stuff, and I just put like a little line there and a little line there. And with this stuff, you really don't need a ton to like get covered, which is what I really like. So I don't have to do a, a ton with this, which is super nice. So I put it in the areas that I want to highlight. And then after, and then after, and then after I blend all this out, I'm gonna take the Patrick Star and Mac powder, ton of powder, and I'm really only gonna focus this right underneath my under eyes, just because those can get a little bit creasy on me. But I'm not gonna put powder. Okay, so now I have a pretty good like foundation base and concealer going on. Take some bronzer next. I'm gonna go in with the Tarte. It's the Park Avenue Princess. No, it's the Hotel Harris, I believe. It's a little bit darker than the Park Avenue Princess. And I'm gonna take it on this brush. This is from Morphe and it's the Jaclyn Hill JH05 brush. I love using this for contour. And I'm just gonna light, like tap it in, tap off any excess. And I'm just gonna go in little circular motions right where I would contour. Okay, so now that I have that all blended out and we have just a nice like kind of warmth back in the skin, I'm going to go in with the Butter Bronzer. This one is the shade Sunkiss Bronze. It has a little bit of like a shimmery kind of -ness, a little bit of shimmery to it. This one has a little bit of shimmer in it, which is why I like it. And I'm going to take it on the JH06 brush, this really like flimsy. Um, I don't know, I just, I've been loving this brush for bronzer. And so I'm going to take a big chunk or a good amount of that and I'm just gonna kind of around my cheek area under my nose and around my cheeks up on my forehead 
just add a little bit more like warmth back in and a little bit of shimma shimma. Okay, this is something I don't do every day, but I want to do a little bit more today just because I want to make my nose a little bit, the contour a little straighter. So I'm going to take my beauty blender and my powder again, and I'm just going to run this right there. And then I'm going to take a little like that, and I'm just going to let that sit for a little bit just because I want my contour on my nose to be a little bit better. I made it a little messy. Where's my blush? So we're gonna go in with blush next. I'm gonna take this one from Tarte. It's called Entertain. It's a really pretty kind of pinky one. And I'm gonna take it on the JH04 brush. I'm gonna tap it in once and I'm gonna do the excess off. Okay, so for eyes, I don't do much when it comes to my eyes at all with an everyday kind of look like this. What I am gonna do though is I'm gonna take the bronzer that I used. This is the Hotel Harris one from Tarte. I'm gonna take a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna kind of press it on my eye. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of the same bronzer on the JH30 brush. This is a really big fluffy blending brush. Take that on there and I'm just gonna run this then through my crease and then we'll take a little bit on the edge there and I will run it down. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of lashes and mascara next. Um, if you're looking for a good everyday kind of lash that almost doesn't look like you're wearing lashes necessarily, it's more like that kind of lash extension look. I have two different styles for you. There's the Kiss number 11s, which are awesome. They are just a little bit shorter, like, and they have a little bit more of that like demi wispy kind of effect. And then we have the number ones from Kiss. These ones are a lot longer and a lot more of that lash extension look where these ones are kind of more of that like, kind of like your lashes but better kind of thing. Um, I'm not gonna go in with either one of those though. I'm gonna go in with something a bit more dramatic. Um, I have this little set of lashes right here. I'm gonna go in with this pair. I am 99% positive they are girl boss from Tarte. So I'm gonna pop on a little mascara and I'm gonna pop these lashes on really quick. If you want to see a video on me applying lashes, like how I would do it if you're a beginner, let me know. Um, but I'm not gonna do it today, okay bye. So those are the lashes and I took the bake off my face because what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray and just spray my face down really quick. And then I'm gonna take Fuego by Desert and Carter. And I'm gonna take it on this brush again. It's the Morphe uh, JH06 brush. I'm just gonna like dip it in there, get it really in there. And I'm just gonna go where I would with my highlights. And so obviously like with something like this, it's gonna make it a little bit more uh, big and intense but what I like about this brush is it doesn't it's not giving me like that strip if you know what I mean so I'm able to put it like where I want to and make it a little bigger but it's not like giving me a strip of highlight so and then I'll show you what I'll do after if you happen to get that strip of highlight because then what you can do is you can take your bra or your blush brush again and kind of just take it like that and so it tones it down a tiny bit, but still gives you that base for a highlight because then what I like to do is I like to take the JH09 brush, this really tiny one, and my Amrezy highlighter. This is literally the best highlighter in the entire world. Like, do you see that? Like, just that reflection already. I literally bought another one of these and I'm nowhere near hitting pan or anything on this. But so then I take this brush and I focus this highlighter right on the apples of my cheeks and like the highest point. So I'll do it above my brow, other side, right above the brow. And I'll do this right on the tip of my nose and then the bridge. And I love putting highlighter right here. I really like my nose, so I will bring attention to it. So I always put highlighter there, a little bit, give myself that mustache, a little bit of highlighter there. And I will put a little bit on my chin. And then that kind of like brings everything together, which is what I love more than anything in life. We're gonna go in with my brows next. I'm honestly not gonna do much. I really don't do much to my brows anyway. They're tinted and shaped right now, so I don't really need to do much. But I'm gonna take the Precisely My Pencil 
my brow pencil in the shade number four, five, excuse me, in the shade number five. This is from the Badass Brows Kit with Desi. So I have like this one and foolproof and all that stuff. I really like it. So we're gonna take a little bit of that and I'm gonna do it right on my front here and then a little bit on my tail. And that's honestly all I've been doing brow pencil wise. I'll I do a little more, but I'll show you. Yeah, that's all I do with the pencil. And then I just brush it out, make sure it looks good. I do like the bold brows, but I still want it to have a little bit of a natural look with it. And then I'll go in with the 24 hour brow setter. Am I in focus? And just set these bad boys, make them a little fluffier. So next we have, so lastly, actually we have lips and these two have been my favorite combination recently. If you are a fan of Jaclyn Hill, you are going to know this recommendation. I'm usually gonna like it too. So this is the Morphe Virgin Liquid Lipstick. And then, yes. I'm sorry, but can we talk about the fact that I literally said guess as I held it up? Okay, goodbye. Oh wait, take your guess. That is beige from Maybelline. Mmm, don't open your eyes while you're doing that. Okay guys, and there you have it. That is my everyday glam. Um, I do this honestly a lot and normally I can get it done within like 20 minutes, like around there, 15, 20. Um, I'll do different lashes, I'll do different eyeshadows. Sometimes I do no eyeshadows, sometimes I do no lip or no blush or something, but um, this is about the everyday kind of look. So I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Follow my Instagram, it's gonna be right here for you. And I would love if you would subscribe somewhere down there, I know that. Hit the like button, it really does help me. It shows me what you guys like. I really wanna be more active on Twitter. Nope, what? I really wanna be more active on YouTube um, and filming more videos. So yeah, let me know what you would like to see. Also, um, I have a few different ideas, but your girl can always use some ideas, you know? Um, yeah, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and that's like all I use. I don't really use Snapchat or anything else. So I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you again for watching. You are the greatest people in the entire world. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.